Welcome back to episode three. We are finally making our way into the manor. Ooh, spooky. Closer, How please don't bring iron bars into the, the top of a rocky outcrop. Sir, you cannot bring an iron bar into the house. Spear. My mother is missing, god damn it. Mama knows some pretty cool people. So I I don't know them. I can't even remember Emily. We met four years ago in fucking London. Boom, remembered that shit. And and mom's talking to Samuel and she wants good good boy. Feel appreciated or something. I need to I need to make sure that uh I remember the shit. Ooh, that's cool. I'll take two. Impressive. It be be. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. You're not my father. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you, Your. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? Sada de Riche. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed oh, to hand yeah. her a very important envelope. But I haven't oh. seen her. Yeah, no, she's oh, around. Mother told me why she was coming here. Persuade anyway, Pergi to entrust the letter to, take the to you. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can oh always God. give it to me. Confrontation start. Oh, fuck. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. So it's like life is strange trying to win a conversation. Okay. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't mm -hmm. take it personally. Step Would you one. happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Okay. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time yeah. ago. Yeah. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Yeah. Oh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. Oh, she wow. has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. Can you stand still I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That what? is very commendable. Yeah, that's but so nice. But since we nice work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said okay. you work together. What do you do exactly? Our business confidential. Our collector, we remember the Golden Order. Oh, professional secret. Why can't I just say I'm a detective? I, I don't. I mean, the Golden Order is supposed to be a secret society, right? But I feel like this is a blunder. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing uh -oh. less from you. Discretion oh my God. and secrecy are both pillars <laughs> of the organizations for which we work. I thought that would be the fuck son up. of Sarah. I'm worthy. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person. And that has always been successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think I should give it to you? It depends on what it contains. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. You can count on me. Pretend I don't want it. Use it. Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if Exploited. I can keep a secret, I would answer yes. Absolutely. I understand. In truth. 
It all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. <gasps> this list must be of extreme importance. Ah, it is. New. It's a list of people that your mother must help. <laughs> Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will be Oh, God. <laughs> Yes! For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Okay. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your life. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret. Yeah, I got Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. Oh my the God. church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across so the So he borders. knows that we're in the Golden Order. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Mm -hmm. Here. Letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 50 so now I don't need names to read the ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Okay. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues or items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. So, so that item description was sealed, which means if I take a look at the letter and for some odd reason I have it give it back to him, he's going to know that I read it. Collector's coins. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. Whoa! Okay. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Oh, cool. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Um, nom, 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 nom. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Okay, you got some rooms at the side. Go back to the group near the chimney. Can I go through these doors? No, I cannot. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. I don't want to go to the chimney. Too scary. No, oh, can't go in there. Okay. Okay. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Wow. Sure. I'm just going to. Yep. What were you talking about? I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. Ooh, it's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Who's this guy? Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, you, come so join us. Monsieur, oh. may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Mm -hmm. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. 
It's simple. George Washington, <gasps> President of the United States of America. Oh my God! Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. It's George nice Washington! Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. Oh I must God. admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, oh there are over a dozen people here. Oh they can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my yeah. mother and how much he held her in high esteem. Mm -hmm. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's like mother well. is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable nope. secrets, or even money matters. But Definitely you'll not. see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming Just talking about my right mom. Right oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, mm -hmm. he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Wow! Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Stop! Oh. Oh, no. Should I be truthful? Truthful, help me. Uh, yeah. Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. I thought everyone knew that she was missing. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards. And we'll take a moment to speak about it. Yeah, her. I think honesty in, in that sense. Oh. Good That's Lord. the order. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. Hey. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case oh, has God. delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest oh, apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. Meant to for those who would like was. to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. Just my dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother, but on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Oh no. Well, the thing is, Emily's staying with Washington. Right? So I don't know how much I can speak about my mother with Emily in present, but obviously Emily knows my mother as well because she's gonna shoot him, but I don't, oh no. Um, decisions, decisions. Obviously, he knows about my mother too. Everyone knows my mother. I think I want to see what Washington, Washington has to say, sir. If you don't mind, I shall stay here. 
Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Yes. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. Yeah. You did yeah. well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our Secrecy organization. Secrecy and discretion. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise mm -hmm. me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. Yeah. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. My mom mistakes. is just like the best. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt mm -hmm. Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. Lies! May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? When she came to the U.S., did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would cookie. never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Okay. Do the others in the order know, do you think, what if mother... And what if mother has left the island? Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, Ooh. and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. I feel like I can trust them. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where I feel did like you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the I wharf. feel like out of the two Do you characters. Think she was preparing to discreetly leave. I don't know. No. An extremely likely proposition. No. I'll believe it when I see it. She was staying. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad she was has happened staying. to her. That's why she had the food yes, rations I, I for at not. least another two days. Careful, they're coming back. <gasps> Who's that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. 
I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, old, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth what? Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Mm -hmm. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. She's across the bar with the tonic and gin. That she don't drink anymore.